We're looking at the science. We're making decisions in the best interest of all British Columbians. And, and we're currently seeing high levels of support for that. Now, uh, there's not unanimity, and that's to be expected. Uh, in terms of how we will proceed with uh, the relieving of, uh, of uh, various restrictions, that will again be uh, directed by the science. And we'll have more to say on that in the weeks ahead. But so I answered a question last week on a radio program about whether the federal government in Canada would be instrumental in, in clicking a, a switch and all of a sudden life would change. And certainly uh, I speak regularly with the federal government and my provincial counterparts uh, from coast to coast to coast. And we will take their views into consideration. But British Columbia will make choices for British Columbians. And when, when it is safe and appropriate to do so, that's when we will make those changes. I am in touch with uh, Governor Inslee in Washington State. And the whole notion of the Cascadia corridor, how, how we could potentially all move in unison on a range of issues uh, between California, Oregon, Washington, British Columbia, and Yukon is something that we're working on all the time. I think now more than ever, we want to have a kind of a unity of purpose. Uh, I know all of the three uh, southern jurisdictions are counting on British Columbia to, uh, to lead the way uh, in Canada. And certainly I've been in regular contact with Premier Sandy Silver in Yukon, where we have uh, reciprocal relationships with border communities accessing services in Yukon. And then, of course, if there's a, a need to evacuate to a larger uh, acute care facility, uh, Yukoners can, stand, can count on British Columbians to be there for them. So we were going we're gonna to take a regional approach to this, obviously mindful of what the Canadian position is, mindful of what's going on in the eastern states or the southern states, but most importantly, the western states. And, and I'll take my direction from Governor Inslee rather than the federal government in the U.S. Guidance, rather, not direction. Next, we have Jennifer Saltman, Vancouver Sun. Jennifer, your line is now open. Uh, thank you. Uh, Premier, I am wondering if you can describe how the province will be helping TransLink to get back to regular service by fall and ensure its uh, long-term fi uh, financial sustainability, and why help isn't coming sooner to prevent the cuts that were announced today. Uh, thank you for the question. Well, we've seen an 83 percent decline in ridership uh, over the past number of weeks with respect to TransLink, a 75 percent reduction in ridership for BC Transit in Victoria and Nanaimo and uh, Kelowna, Prince George and other uh, BC Transit communities, and a 91 percent reduction in passengers on BC ferries.